What is going on everyone? It's Brody back in to answer another tennis question. Today's tennis topic is going to be, can you actually string a racket that is cracked? Now, before I can actually answer that fully, you, we have to understand what I mean by a cracked racket. So as you continue playing with rackets, you're going to notice that the strings get dead over time or you just need something new in your game because your game is going to evolve as a player. So what you will eventually have to do is get your racket restrung. Now, when you do this, there's multiple different things, but essentially they cut out the strings in your tennis racket and then they put a new fresh set in. The way they do this is that they hook your racket onto a machine known as a stringing machine, and they then input the strings that way. There's a few different types of stringing machines, but usually most professionals are now using a lot more of the electronic string machines. Sometimes the tr traditional crank wheel string machines, those ones are still very popular as well. You don't see a lot of drop weights at higher level uses just because drop weights are very inconsistent with tension. However, doesn't matter. This will apply to any and all stringing methods, any and all stringing machines, because it's about the racket. So the way that a racket can become cracked is a few different ways. If you're playing with your racket and you hit it and you hit the ball on the frame, there's a there's a high chance, depending on how fast the ball is coming at your racket and how hard you swing, there's a chance that you may have just cracked the racket. Sometimes it's pretty obvious to where you see it like just bend. Sometimes it's not so obvious because it'll be on the inside. It's just a small little like hairline crack, almost as if you like took a pencil on your hand and you drew a line. That's what the crack may look like, but it's still a crack nonetheless. So. That's one way that a crack can happen. Another one is just from stringing a racket itself. Stringing is a very, I won't say dangerous, but necessary thing that rackets have to go through. So the rackets have to be able to hold a lot of stress on them because those stringers, they're pulling tension on that string at sometimes 50 or 60 pounds on a racket. So if you can imagine 60 pounds of force, that is what is being pulled onto one string inside of, inside of that tennis racket. So the body and frame of the tennis racket has to be able to withstand that, that much force into it. And that's why tennis rackets have a recommended tension range to where the companies have decided this is the amount of tension that this racket will best perform under as well as be able to handle. That's why if you go outside of that range, especially tighter, then if you racket cracks from getting that strung, you void the warranty on the racket if you still have one on there. So you can start to crack a racket by hitting it too hard. You can start to crack a racket by getting it strung at a wrong tension. And then those are really kind of two, the two main ways that it happens. Sometimes manufacturers, if there is a defect with the racket, it's not common at all to have that happen but sometimes it does slip out. One of the most notable ones was the Babolat Pure Arrow from I believe the 2015 generation. It got what was known as stress fractures. And those were those like little pencil lines I was talking about. They were on the inside of the racket head right next to where the strings go in. If you saw that or the stringer saw that, then that racket is done, gonzo. You do not string that because if it, you do, you pull tension. The string breaks, not only itself, but the racket itself. And then the particles of the racket fly everywhere. Potentially the stringer gets hurt and anyone, anyone else close to him or the room as well. So we do not string cracked rackets. That is a big no-no. Unfortunately, it is, if it's seen, if a stringer sees it and they say, oh yeah, we can string that. It's like, don't, if you have any just questions or any doubts about whether or not it's an actual crack, get it looked at, get it looked at by a professional so that they can actually see what's going on rather than having it just sent to the stringer, not knowing, and then eventually finding out, oh no, your racket's broke. You didn't, you didn't check before and we strung it. It's broke now. You're out of a racket, out of money. Good luck. Sorry. You have to buy a brand new racket. So Always make sure to check your rackets by either yourself. If you haven't, if you think that there is potentially a crack, get it checked by a professional so that they can actually see what's going on and make sure that everything is taken care of. 
That's pretty much the main thing. If you have a suspicion, do not get your racket strung. Yes, it sucks that you will eventually have to go out and probably get a brand new version of the racket if you liked it, but this does also open up the, air, the area and options for you to start demoing a few new rackets because, well, you need a new one. So if you, if you didn't like the one you had before, you were just playing with it because that's the one you bought and you were stuck with, congratulations. You can now start demoing rackets and just seeing what else is out there for you to try. If not, if you like the brand new racket, well, good th good news. You already know you liked it and you know it worked. Now you just got to get a brand new one, restrung, and you're good to go. So that's pretty much it for talking about those cracked rackets. So if you like the video, leave a like on it. Comment down below any more questions that you may have, as well as subscribe to the channel so that we can get this information out to the people who need it. I saw a lot of tennis misinformation going around in the tennis community, so I took it upon myself to make this channel so that we could get rid of all of that. So with that being said, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe so that we can grow this channel together, and share this video with a friend if they have some suspicions about if their racket's cracked, whether or not they should get it restrung or not. And as always, take care.